Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are gonna learn about blend linear. What this function does? This function is uh, taking two images and blending both of them. What I mean is, for example, here there are some examples. Uh, you wanna get this image. You have one line image and or you have one background image. Then you are blending both of them and you are getting this image. Or similar these images you wanna get. Uh, also, for example, you have a you want to put a text transparent text to an, any image, and again you will need this blend image. I'm just uh, showing you some examples where we use this uh, function. What this function takes as uh, input, it takes two inputs, source one and source two. Both of them should be in the same size. Also, their uh, types should be same. This is the only uh, requirement. And here is the waste one and waste two. Waste one represents source one. Waste two represents source two. Uh, these are just uh, these these waste one and waste two mean that uh, how strong source one and source two will be. We will more understand in the code part. And here is the destination image, which is the result image will be. Let's see in the code part. In here already I have two image. One is Jeff and one is Alan and we wanna for example blend these two image let's see the result uh, first of all i'm changing the size of input to because it's resolution different so i'm just uh, making it equal to the input input one the size i mean width and height resolution i mean uh, here we are calling blend linear uh, source one is input and source two is input two and weights one means uh, first of all we need to create weights of course also weights need to be in this type this is the only point and the size should be same with the source one and source two also let's create first of all weight one weights weights one let's say and let's simply say it's uh it's include at all zeros and size will be equal to input size okay then the type should be equal to this one and this is done let's create one more weight belongs to the source 2 let's call it weight 2 and let's say this equals to at all ones and yeah same it's done and weights one weights two and output let's see the output now okay here you only see ellen here because of the weight file you defined if you also make here ones what you will see now you see the mix of the jeff and ellen here as you can see both both is the in the same both in the same uh weight files same so their strength to each other is same so it seems like this what if i change some of them is equality I mean uh, if one of them is higher how to do that uh, let me change this creates at all one maybe we can do like this size again input size size and other is just a uh, type and one more just color we will define that means let's say 10 okay now see the result as you can see jeff still in the image but so uh, i'll say it's almost unseen but just little because of the weights too which is belong to input to which is belong to ellen uh, we made its a weight uh, representative uh, mat 10 but Jeff is once uh, I mean include all of the weight mat once but here Alan's is 10 so it's more strong in the image 
for example if you little decrease I mean if you make 5 at all uh, Jeff more seen and when you made it equal to 1 they will be in the both is in the same strength in the image this is like that working uh, for example you can also put some task text to the image let's taking this and putting here maybe after this I already created this before just make comment this part here I'm creating one more input input tree and I'm just writing on it Jeff and I'm just uh, putting text which is Jeff to this input then I'm creating my weight mat uh, in this kind of uh, not important this part now in here what I'm doing uh, for example this weight mat uh, at all is equal to, to 2 but I wanna make them 0 one of them and only Jeff written Jeff text wanna make uh, 2 what why I am wanna that because I mean if you don't do this let's see the results first of all and uh, okay blend where is blend okay here and this is input and we take input 3 weights where is weight mat and weight okay let's take this see the result okay you see that Jeff uh, in the background is bad because why it's bad uh, it's cause of the okay on also cause of this maybe little decrease it now better but still uh, it's uh, it's contrast down why it's done because all of your input uh, includes zeros I mean include this maybe you can make it zero but nothing will change it will again its contrast will be done I wanna the background not changing that's why I need this loop so uh, this is my weight sorry this is my weight mat uh, how to say this is my weight mat affecting input 3 so in this one I just want to change the weights in the pixels including Jeff's text that's why I need this. Let's see the result now. Okay, I made a mistake, seems. Mm, I'm writing that. Okay, wait, my 2 is under that. If like that, okay. 0, otherwise, should be this seems everything fine input 3 weight mat 2 ah ok now i understood this should be weight mat 2 yeah now it's done Bef now the con contrast contrast didn't change as you can see this is and this totally same background didn't ch change i just put some uh, text on it and it's working fine as you can see and maybe you can put it here more better in different kind of maybe we can make it Allen also just changing this with this yeah like this you can play this is little uh, maybe the transparency higher how you can change let's see again for example you want a more unseen this written what you need to do weight mat is 2 is affecting that just decrease it let's say 1 make it and you will see more ants in that part uh, this works like that and you can try it on yourself in this video I just wanted to talk about blend linear and how it's working I hope uh, I'm clear on it and this is enough for with this video see you in the next ones